I was watching your reel <clears throat> earlier today again of you one day post op having an open heart surgery, beast in it, walking through the hallways in the oh, hospital, man. and then six months post op, you're swinging kettlebells around, you're yeah. throwing weight around, had me all fired up. Talk to me about that. Oh man, it, well, I first off, I'm just really grateful to God that my surgery went as well as it did, mm. and. I recognize that I am living a privileged life in that I am healthy, I'm fully recovered, and I have no restrictions. And I understand there's a lot of people that go through heart conditions and heart, you know, trials and situations, challenges, where they aren't back to 100%. And so I really am trying to live in the daily present, like, intention that, like, I'm going to be so grateful that I have this opportunity and also know that, like, this may not last for the rest of my life. I hope it does. I hope that I... For the rest of my life, I have full potential and full capacity, but I'm so aware that it, this could go away at any point in time, which is also one of the drivers for me working as hard as I do and working so hard on the things that I'm passionate about because I recognize that I may not always have this much energy or this ability to go as hard as I do. And it's a little counterintuitive. Like I've been chastised by friends and people like, you're going so hard again. Like, I just feel like you don't need to take care, better care of your body. I'm like, yeah, I do. But I, again, I'm the endurance athlete of events. Like... I, I know how to check in and like right now I get to do this and no one's going to take that from me. Like I get to do this and that's where I'm at. Mm. So going into the surgery, I'll give you the quick version. So it's not boring, but there's enough context. Mm -hmm. The context is I was born with a heart condition, a, a bicuspid valve, meaning there's only two leaflets. There should be three. I had two on my aortic valve. So it's it, instead of having three, there's two leaflets and those leaflets open and close and control blood flow. I had a repair when I was three months old where they basically cut out that leaflet because it wasn't formed properly and that would allow blood to flow in and out of, of that of that valve. Miraculously, that leaflet had enough living tissue in it that it grew with my heart. And so they thought that I was going to have to have my, my surgeons and cardiologists as a, as a child thought, oh, for sure he'll have a replacement within, you know, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, whatever. Um, and so my entire childhood, I grew up being told, like, you're going to have to get this thing replaced. Like, you know, just expect another heart surgery, like kind of priming me for that. I was so blessed. I made it into my 30s without having to have that surgery. 